And so we come, 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 come. We come upon Breeland. And hello. Let's take Hob into our family. And here he then resides in Matraith. Um, let's send him down into the sport. Yes, my lord. And yes. Council Master Willy can then happily oh, and gaily proceed lord toward our bed. Oh, and hello there. Come and get me, you Done coward. landings here. Done landings there. Done landings yes, coming from everywhere. My lord. By your but let's get all the trips in line. And get some land clearance and call Willishar. Um, how's this lad for? He's not really... Oh, he's not even... He doesn't really have any inherent traits. Traits inherent to Bree land. Orders, my lord. Hmm. Oh well, I suppose they are just generic people. But that's okay. That's what we're here to be. Generic people of Eliador. And I think our treasury is looking in order. Let's move our diplomat and end the turn. Yes, stopping here. Hey guys, Rod and Stack here, and welcome to turn 18 of this hot seat. I don't know why am I. Okay, it's fine. Uh, my cursor for some reason was um, showing me um, something else. Okay, Your now. Uh, why is why is every time I load up this game, the volume just changes? Or the sound setting just go over the place? Okay, so they've... Okay, um... My Lord. What I'm thinking of doing is just attacking Khazad Doom. Elves. Because if I... Yeah, because I... Yeah, I'm doing it. I think what would happen is that I'm pretty sure the dwarfs would be in the battle anyway. So we'd have the support of them and it'd be... I, I really love an epic battle of Khazad Doom and the dwarves and the elves together. It'd be so good. Um, as a rehearsal did from that there. So I've got a mission to go speak to Dol Amroth. Yes, not Dol Amroth, uh, Rohan, sorry. I was thinking I'm going to get an alliance with Dol with Dol. Now, because if we can, then perhaps... We might betray Sauron. Then, don't know. Let's see if they do it. For my king. I must inform you okay. Good. No, we're having the lights of them. See that, see how that goes. I don't really think we're at uh, War of the Mordor. No, we're not. Okay. I think in other versions of Fair Days you are. I yes. might just be just Stopping mistaken. Here. I shall right. continue I'll take three turns to get there. Uh, we'll leave my dip them outside, um, outside Chasm Doom. Anything else to really report on? I've got some money. That's good. Yay! But time we do for something. We could do with some money. Now we built all most the majority of our um, builders' houses, which is coming along nicely. Next turn they'll be done. We are building some Amanya Swordsmasters, Amanya Riders, Rangers, and all that over in the Great Havens. This place is actually making me some money, so that's good. Unfortunately, I can't seem to build anything here. I might have to get the... Whatever the hell it was that allows me to actually build stuff here. Because I don't have a slot. That's it. Let's just build that. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'll actually build something here. Because, <laughs> uh... Uh, this is building some loads of troops. Uh, tell you what. Let's put you in... Let's get you guys going as well. More troops are better. Uh, get some of these guys going. Nice. That will be... That would be perfectly, thank you. Other towers, not much to report on. Oh, let's build some stuff then, shall we? While we're here. Uh, I usually like to show these guys anyway because, um, you know, <laughs> something to show you, I guess. Uh, let's go for that. Or do we go for the vineyard? That gives some money, so I'm thinking that. Okay, now we're sort of down too much cash left, so we're stop building. Uh, leave it for now. So, Dol Dol actually really likes me, which is really weird. Um, Sire. Yeah, okay, I guess uh, that's interesting. Um, obviously, we're gonna take Gaza Doom. Gaza Doom has got Uglak inside and uh, Mountain Orc Hunters. So I think these guys got good. Eric Overseas, these guys are good. The rest aren't the best. Infantry decent enough, but they're not the best. Let's hope to God that a massive army of from Dol Dol just 
comes out of nowhere. I don't know, the door comes out of nowhere and attacks me. I uh, hope it doesn't. <laughs> or they, worst case scenario, they push up and then attack him larger or something stupid like that. Um. Oh yeah, okay. The Duodine have taken the Goblin Town, which is good. Uh, that's very good indeed. Hmm. All right. Okay. So we're gonna sit um outside there. I'm gonna say uh, Elrond has sent word for his diplomat to send word to the diplomat Loni. He's gonna then send have a meeting at Casa Doom to discuss the. I imagine. I don't actually know yes, the hell's in Lord. there. To be honest. Yes. You have a proposition. Oh, this guy, Carlin. Okay, I don't know who that is. Well, I'm gonna say it's uh, Balin's son or someone <laughs> related to him. And so we're gonna organize the battle at Kazadum, and it also will offer me their support. Um, uh, we, we, we speak to them about getting their support. If they don't accept, then Eron would have to face alone. The and the, actually, no, I don't think we can because uh, dwarfs are so yes, fucking stubborn to accept an alliance with me. Yeah, okay. We'll have to see what we do. God, 13 turns so that goes. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. Taking that is probably a must. Uh, we definitely have, have much better troops than they do. So we can do it. I might try and get alliance next turn. Uh, if I have some cash, which I do, I might have to bribe the uh, dwarfs uh, for some money, hopefully. Um, it should be a bit annoying, but. You know. And we're sending over in two turns, we'll send these guys out. And obviously, three turns we'll just build up our troops at Mithlond. Eventually, with Mithlond, we're probably with my army. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it'll be five because we have to leave someone behind. Six. So it's going to be six units. I don't really know if that's enough, but uh, it will have to be. And we're going to sail up and take and land over at Angmar. Probably around here. I can't remember the settlement, so I think it's up here somewhere. Yeah, land here and. Push east towards Kazadoom there. Uh, I don't know how powerful Angmar's got, but uh, Era Lewin sort of pushing in, so that's hopefully they're doing some work over here. That'd be nice. But yeah, uh, over at Waffle, obviously you've seen his turns. He's, I think he's moving on far bad. I haven't seen his footage yet, so yeah. And imagine he's pushing here. Yeah, he's going for far bad. Uh, hopefully he hasn't gotten to a big battle. Um, obviously you guys would have seen this. I haven't yet. So anyway. Run this turn. Uh, the next turn with me will be obviously the Battle of Kazadoom. Hopefully, if we can. I want to get the dwarfs with me. Because um, I don't want to fight it with just me. So, like, it brothers. could go horribly wrong. <laughs> you never know. Uh, so, anyway. Moving on. Ladies and gents, welcome to Bree. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What we can do, what we can give, what we can be. Yes, my lord. Dunland moves to encircle us. And it would seem that we have indeed already perhaps had a battle here. Which we may have won. Maybe. I'm going to say... That we should... Hmm. Yes, my lord. Hope. Hello, Hope. Okay. Let's move over here and put some pressure on them. We we'll take Tharbad. Yes. Um. Yes, my lord. Hope. What would you be doing? Um. You can. Well. Hope that we'll get a bit more. Your order. <laughs> a bit. Uh, a bit ba yes. bigger budget for n next time around. Ah, of course. Now, I did, of course, make the mistake of basically inviting them to attack me, which will mean that I can't fight that. Ah, I got stuck in uh, single-player mode here. Okay, but I'll, um, I'll build some siege equipment so that if by some miracle they leave us alone or lose whatever engagement they force us into, um, then we can have at them next turn. Um, My lord. we really need these cavalrymen south, so let's get that done. 
and otherwise, let's end the turn. Hey guys, Frozen Stack here, and welcome to turn 19 of this high elf thing. We're uh, Mary Dawn and Austin, who I think is a bit of a meme in the um, third age community, because <laughs> apparently he um, has a really difficult name to pronounce, which isn't too bad. I mean, Dawn and Austin isn't. I mean, I've gotten used to it now, so <laughs> that's good. Relations outstanding with Bree, of course. Uh, anyway, quite good. That's, that's quite good. That means well to uh, worry about them. Okay, it does seem that we are still continuing our siege of uh, Khazad Doom. Um, are they dwarfs in range? No time to heaver. I'm on duty. No, oh, it's changed my settings again. It always does this. For some reason, it will just change my settings when I load up the game. I don't know why that is. Engage. No, they're not in range. So help. And they get the odds. And they get the, well, these guys let the garrison. Right, okay. So I think it would be much more beneficial to just starve them out for like 12 turns. Because uh, the dwarves aren't in range, which is a pain in the ass. Um, I'm pretty sure you can only attack from one point, if I remember correctly. Elven warriors. Yeah, yeah, you can't actually. Yeah, so that's... Uh, so you might have to sit there for a while Come and uh, chill. Um, in large risk, we've got three more turns while good troops are good, uh, sorted. So we send them down straight away. Uh, Zagala, nothing to... Count on there. Your orders. My high elf dip mats right there. Without question. Eventually waiting until we can uh, starve out Khazad Doom, which I think we might have to. It's going to take me quite a few turns, but uh, I you won't be able to defeat that army, especially if the dwarven units are in range. It's a pain in the ass. So we are going to have to starve them out for quite some time. So uh, hopefully, Help. once we get reinforcements, that will be helpful. Um, over in the west, um, not too much over here. Two more turns, we get some troops there, and then eventually retrain some more guys as well. And eventually, um, Serdan will do something rather than just sitting around in his um, in his settlement not doing much. So the builders' houses are done. Uh, we're not making that much in the way of money, so I'm probably going to hold off and build anything for a little while. I mean, I'll stick to building units. Because uh, uh, 14 turns, so we, we won't be able to build any units for like 8 turns. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, we can't do anything for a while. And same here, it's like, what, 9 turns, 9 turns, 3 turns for them, that's alright. But. So yeah, I think mean, I'm going to hold off on building, uh, building um, any in the way of buildings. I mean, if I want to, I can. Because I built all the uh, stuff that reduces the cost, so I can if I want to, but. Uh, I think it's best that we just hold on and uh, keep a hand of our money for a while because we're going to need it. Um, do you have another diplomat somewhere? Yes, I do. Yeah, so I was saying you over to Rohan, wasn't I? As you wish. Yes. Which, uh, it's just west. They actually own Fangorn Forest. That's cool. Impossible. So I might just I be one big reason that. that just encounters all that. Uh, so yeah, obviously once the two the next turn we'll be able to move out uh, sudden leave some which will give us well, We only have five yeah five units because one will have to remain for garrison So probably I'll leave the marinas behind and again the marinas are quite good. I mean what would the best unit would be to leave behind? Probably just long spears be perfect ones. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave the long spears behind And then we'll send certain up north. Uh, I'm gonna avoid war with any way for now It's probably a good thing. We don't attack them and go for Angmar, or uh, I could move east and assist um, against the Misty Mountains, or the which is the last of the orcs over here in the region and in the Western Peaks. So yeah, I'm I'm debating what to do what there, but uh, we'll figure it out. But anyway, that is all for this turn. We shall go on to Waffle. Ladies and gents, welcome back to Bree, where well, yes, my lord, Council Master Willy has been defeated apparently. In between turns, Tharbad is not ours, perhaps nor is it meant to be, or nor perhaps is it meant to be, but we shall be testing that as well, of course. Your orders, my lord. Um, yes, my lord. Man, this, these guys took a beating. Uh, okay, I'm going Your to orders, consolidate my, my forces in this fort, save up a little bit of cash. I'm going to send these riders south. 
to rendezvous with them because they will be needed. Um, Greenway Spearman in the fort. Let's recruit what we can. We've no real buildings coming up, but hey, let's get some land clearance in Mengelen. I think that's a good thing to do. Okay, so we're supposed to get to know the, the mini of us in guard. So we let's go and say hello. Buy my map. Yay! As you wish. Okay, that Without gives us a little bit of extra cash. Yes, my lord. Yes. Okay. Now, as we shall be bashing our heads against Tharbad. Um. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take those archers next turn around. So Your let's will, put. These guys in the two meaningful positions. Brathor is doing his thing. Hmm. Yeah. I really want my gatekeepers. Eight turns though. Oh my. <laughs> that is quite a hassle. To wait that long. I mean, we'll also need some greenway spearmen. Uh, sooner or later we will. So I'm going to send them down. Okay, let's get something here in the hop long bottom. Mason's Hall. Mason's Hall. Or maybe... Mm, or do we want some... No, doesn't give growth, but chicken farming does. So let's go do that. Um... So we've spent our money. Orders. We shall solidify our position and then at some point Tharbad will be ours. But for now, on to the next turn. Hey guys, Froden Stag here and welcome to turn 20 of the High Elves uh, Hot Seat with um, Waffle of course. Now in his recording, and you would have noticed it, um, that his army got beaten back from... Uh, far bad, which is uh, not really good for him because um, that does mean that Dunland does have quite some formidable forces. I think once we deal with the orcs at uh, Khazad Doom, we're probably well. Once we finish with the orcs in the Missy, well, orcs, uh, some settlement over here, and we might have to go assist them against Far Bad. Um, that's good. Now I did recruit some troops last turn. I usually move character cheats to uh, Come, send them to Elrond straight away because otherwise we'd have to wait like. 15 turns till we could actually and with the, I feel a bit safer with Elrond because there's a decent army now to um either take this or just starve it out um I would like to do the battle at Khazad Doom but I'd probably have to wait quite a few turns because um if I fight him now with the army I have I'm gonna lose so many men um which I could do anyway but yeah I don't know I kind of wish the uh the dwarves would come in and assist me there's a nice guard there look at that I must admit I haven't played that much of uh, Third Age um, Divine Conquer 4.5, honestly. I haven't really done a lot with it, uh, which is obviously... But really, I don't really have time to uh, do all that, really. It's, it's a shame. That's what being a YouTuber does. You don't have time to uh, play um, play for fun, really. You just sort of play remember recording. Otherwise, you're just sort of wasting your time when you're just playing for fun. A certain archer, you know, over here, he's going to retrain. Uh, Serden, as well, is now back in... He's now over in Imladris. So kala has got Elden inside. Elra here is in Bruinost. And we've got now a full archer unit over there in Ammon Amman Enderud. Um, diplomacy. Let's speak to Loring because I don't think we actually spoke. No, we had never actually spoke to them. I do not no, they're going to be a dick. I <sighs> really hate diplomacy in Tarot. I really do. <laughs> Especially in Medieval 2. It's stupid. No, we can't. It's like, uh, Let's not no, they're just well, stupid. Okay. Fruitful. Farewell. <laughs> I hate Mabel to diplomacy. It's so questions. shit. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Even if I've surely, I know they fixed it in Divine Conqueror a bit, but it's so bad. You're never fixing it properly. 
I will actually go toggle foe because I haven't seen. Um, because like when you get to like turn twenty or like uh, somewhere in the campaign, you sort of just want to have a look at everything and see what's going on. Um, so we'll do that now. Nope. Uh, so let's have a look at everything. Angmar's sword pushing against the doing a bit. Oh, is Aragorn now? I would fight for your people. Got some grey company. Own, Very nice. Friend. I can't wait for uh, five point oh divine conquer. I'm not going to be doing any more series. Oh, it's a Goblin Town. Interesting. I won't do any more series with uh, Divine and Conquer until 5.0 comes out. Uh, because if I get into myself into another hot seat with Waffle, we'll uh, never be able to update to 5.0 because I'd still be doing this damn hot seat. So, Mount Graham as well. Cool. That does look very nice. I like that look of that. I am wanting to do my own little. Um, oh. I respect you. I can doubt. Enemy. From the uh, War in the North game. Think. <laughs> yeah, I think pretty sure that's where it's come from. So yeah, I would like to do a, like a sub mod for uh, Divine Conquer at some point. I think that'd be something really cool. But the problem is, um, doing sub mods is all right. Like uh, I mean, the sub mod I do would probably be around. I know. I want to do sub mod set like, like a story set after uh, the War of the Ring, um, like very in depth story and all that. It's not gonna be one of those crappy little fan fictions. It's gonna be a proper in depth story. Uh, which is sort of why I want to do. Uh, so I'd love to do like a sub mod for this, set in that time period, set in like the fourth age or before that, or five years after the War of the Ring. But the problem is you have a lot of scripts in Divide and Conquer, and sometimes you might need. Uh, there's quite a few. I would have to take out quite a few scripts, which is a little bit difficult uh, because if you take one, because taking out scripts and stuff and taking out anything in the get in the mod is a bit dodgy, especially this Divide and Conquer because that mod, this mod in particular. Is heavily uh, scripted and all that. It's a lot of stuff that's gone into this, so it's quite difficult to do. But uh, I think I, I mean, I love to do it, but it would just take me a while to figure it all out and to do. But uh, I wanted to do it at some point. Uh, moving over, Bree, as you can see, uh, it's going quite well. It's all good. He's got a few. Uh, must admit, he's left a few units around. Um, today I'm pretty sure he had some units around. Get your soon troops down. The thing I noticed, he's got a lot of units sat in his settlement that could really be doing something else. Uh, see, I don't really defend my settlements too much in Divine Conquer or in Third Age or any Turtle War. Really. I tend to just move out as quick as possible. Uh, if I leave troops behind, it sort of halts my conquest. So, yeah. Done and down here, this is the Isengard's pushed up a bit. They're pushing into, they're taking Guignard and probably going to go for Hornberg in a minute. Uh, the Misty Mountains. I only have, okay, they have a sizable little force in Austin Edel, but I doubt it's going to be very powerful to stop me. It's going to take me a while to take hazards. I'm sometimes wondering if it's quicker to do take this straight away. Which I might do. I don't know. Um, Do you know what? I think we might do that. It's, I could, I don't know. Okay, I think what we do, we go to Austin Edel. I'm not a War of Dunnan just yet. I don't know why your relation is with them. Amiable. Okay, that's not that's not the best, is it? Uh, my yeah, I better go send my diplomat over to Rohan. Tomorrow. I can't remember why your relation is. Okay, it's alright, that's fine. So, uh, Dunnan's alright. Uh, most of the forces seem to be, yeah, over and far bad. Probably moving against Bree, so... Yeah. I don't know, I might keep sieging Kazam Kazadum because the dwarf probably would be stupid and might attack it. Um I don't know, because I don't really wanna I Do you know what? We're gonna risk it and we're gonna leave. Because if I can take out Austin Needle and then the dwarfs finally do something useful and besiege Kazadum, then I won't have to worry about them at all. I could always send a diplomat over to um Dunn and just keep them peace terms with them for now. I oh, know my plan is to attack them, but I I wanna be ready to beat them. I don't wanna rush into it. Um any waves alright down here. I would like to do a campaign on any wave actually because they're quite uh not, not many people really like any wave but I kinda of feel like they're an interesting little faction because they're very they're a very neutral faction so you can sort of choose to go you can choose to attack um Eridor side with like Isengard and Mordor or you could choose to side with Gondor against um like the uh, 
Isengard and Dunn and all that. It's like, I think it's historically they hate uh, Gondor, I believe. But, yeah. We got some, uh, I like, I like the different, I'd love to, I might do a campaign on Gondor at some point, but, uh, with the Shattered Alliance, uh, so that way you'd sort of go, you can go evil and, uh, go evil with Gondor and then, like, kill Rohan and Dharma off and all that. I think that'd be kind of interesting. And then you, then I'd probably give myself troops from Mordor and run in all the evil factions so I can actually, um, do something. I think that'd be kind of fun to do. I really, I really like the idea of doing the Gondor Shattered Alliance campaign, but I would love to wait. I'm probably going to have to wait till I want to wait till 5.0 and my decision will not change. So we'll probably wait till 5.0 till we do some more Dak stuff, which I am looking forward to. Uh, Rohan's alright. They're not too bad. Uh, over in Umbar, I don't see me. Alright. I got Besiege in this. Go uh, Gobel. My god. That's a massive garrison. I don't know if they even, can even pull it off, can they? No. Hmm, maybe interesting to see how he does that. Um, Harad's doing quite well. They're very spread out, which is obviously the um, joys of playing Harad, of course. I don't seem to have many armies up here, so... Oh no, there's one, oh, there's one over here. The Warlord Musab is attacking got some Black Snake Guard. They're quite nice, and you obviously got the, um, what's it called? Bloody, uh, can, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, I forget, this is all like green, which is really interesting. I don't know if that is, my, I imagine it must be right, because, um, yeah. Well, it's weird to see a bit of model that's green. You don't get that very much. <laughs> I know if you've got good Easterlings up here, the Strand. I had to uh, turn off the music for my third age 4.0 series, which I've now started, which I've got to episode 9, which is fun. That obviously won't be uploading the channel for quite some time, I'm afraid. But I've had to, like, disable all the music for that. Um, well, not, well, episode, the last three episodes I did, which is episode 7, 8, and 9, have all got copyright strikes and have been banned in four countries. It was uh, Cuba, North Korea, Iran, and Syria, which isn't too bad because I don't have too many viewers over in that part of the world, I believe, from what I know anyway. So I'm that's okay, but I'm still gonna be saving the uh, music because I can't, I can't risk it. Because um, if if what if it gets disabled in say the United Kingdom or the United States, that's half of my viewer base gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to disable the music, which is a pain in the ass for playing uh, Third Age, I guess. But I haven't noticed it too much with Divide and Conquer, but which is I don't know if it's different in Divide and Conquer or if they've. Um, if they don't have um, copyrighted music, I'm not really sure. I think they might. I am a warrior, not an but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to disable the music, I'm afraid, for the episode 10 and so on. Which, uh, which sucks, because I do like the music. But I can't risk copyright. I can't risk uh, getting disabled in like uh, these in pivotal countries that I have. Because uh, my viewer base is mainly United States and the United Kingdom. I think United States more, which is odd, because I'm not American. I'm British, <laughs> so... Yeah, the D Dwinian, I, I would love to play it as that, they're, they're quite cool. I love the Dwinian area because it's just so cool, you can like, um, take up Run and... I mean, I could play as Run, but uh, I don't know, I like Dwinian better because Dwinian is like the faction you don't... Like a really new faction that you haven't got seen before in the uh, Third Age. Dale's over here. There is healthy um, don't know what they're Smilor. doing. Uh, probably, I don't know, they're moving down here. Probably right taking, um, some Rebel Summons maybe into Dogal Door, I think. Dog or door, those are quite good. Aleron, come all shadow rangers, they're quite nice. And dog or door down here, so you know. Um, Gundabad sort of pushing on uh, Framsburg. I've been watching uh, uh, Galu's uh, series on the do um the winning um the um what are they called? Fucking, I forgot the name of them. The name of the bloody faction. Uh, d uh no, Anduin Vale, that's it. My bad. <laughs> uh, Gundabad's got, obviously got Dane's Halls. Oh, okay. They're sending a big army over it towards um, either that Rebel Settlement or towards Erebor. So, it's interesting to see what happens there. Uh, yeah, Erebor's doing alright. Not doing too bad. Angmar up here. Yeah, let's have a look at them in a minute ago. <laughs> Karas Gardenhorn. I've just got the Dwarves of Khazad Doom over there. 
So Lauren's quite nice. They're all right, I think. Rohan's, like I said earlier, fine. Oh, look. Um, so Lauren, yeah, they're going. They're taking that. That's good. Dogwador's got a territory down in uh, da Dantaland. Dantaland. <laughs> Whatever. And obviously, you have lovely Mordor. Great. <laughs> Which I, I like Mordor, really. The shame most of the units are kind of bad. Uh, what I've noticed, I haven't noticed this before in Divide and Conquer, that it seems they've probably an effort to balance out the game a little bit more, is that they've um, put the Nazgul, and obviously they've renamed the Nazgul, uh, because the Nazgul, obviously, I think they got the name for the Nazgul from somewhere completely different. But uh, the Nazgul is actually now actually are called, or oh, apart from the Witch King of Angmar, but they're now called um, different names. So you've got um, Shivas, <laughs> uh, Gan Alton, and... Balakna Sunfire, which I kind of like, <laughs> and obviously they're nice little bodyguards, which are quite cool. So I like the fact they've left them there, which probably is an effort to balance them a bit more, uh, because obviously, because um, obviously the which uh, the knights, um, knights, the knights, what? <laughs> the Nazgul are very powerful, um, so it's probably it's probably left them there to balance them, I imagine. The AI, the AI is probably a little bit that stupid and actually fun. put troops with them, I believe. Which, I don't know if that's the AI, or I think it's just an effort to balance them. I think um, maybe in a, when it gets to a certain turn, they um, lose the um, no movement point thing, and they can actually move move out of Mordor. Or I don't, or it might be if... Um, yeah, or it might be in the case if uh, like they just... I don't know. I'm pretty sure, unless... Gondor actually pushes them. Maybe they spawn if that happens, or if they just turn, or not spawn. Maybe they just turn up. But I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Maybe um, kicking at some point. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the map. <laughs> As you can see, everything seems to be going kind of well. Not too bad. Uh, good to bad. Or well, the Misty Mountains is falling. I do hope to God that the um, dwarfs do something. So we got Elrond over here. We have got some Duodine Wardens, Lindar Guards. Uh, bowmen, uh, proper cavalry now, even though some of our cavalry are very battered. Sword masters are still around, and we've got marinas and long spears as well. So uh, we are in a pretty good, decent position. I'm probably going to take that fort as well <laughs> if they can. So we're probably going to do that. But anyway, that is it for this turn and probably this episode. I think that's uh, we've definitely gone to about the 40 minute mark. I think. So uh, we're in this off here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to both me and Waffles channels. Uh, we are quite enjoying these this hot seat. Um, obviously, um, it's a little bit difficult sometimes because uh, obviously we have busy schedules in our lives and not, uh, can't always um, we can't always do our turns instantly. And so as you will notice that there will be the odd week in both our channels where we don't have this to upload. Uh, and I am starting now a camp uh, multiplayer series on the on the Tiller Total War with the Total War Imperium mod with a, a friend of mine. And so that's going to be coming out on Mondays. So I hope you guys enjoy that because that's something I'm quite looking forward to. I think I'm going to be doing a CK3 multiplayer series with another person as well. So you'll have that as well. And I think another friend of mine was doing either Rome to or Tiller a multiplayer campaign, I think. So I got three, three multiplayer series coming out along with uh, this and the Holy Alliance Expand America's hot seat, which is actually kind of on the standstill. I mean,. Uh, your boy and, I mean, not me, because I have plenty of time, but your boy and, uh, RP seem to have, like, busy schedules to the point where they don't have time to do it on the weekend. So, and obviously they are, your boy himself is a developer on a mod, so he's got pretty much no time, sadly. So, um, yeah, that's, it takes a little while for us to, um, to get anything out for that, which I do apologise, because if you guys are enjoying that and want more from the, um, Expand America's hot seat, but unfortunately, um, we just don't have the time to keep to put up, I'm afraid. So, uh, yeah, um, that's so you've got plenty of multiplayer stuff coming to the point where uh, you, you're gonna get sick of it, but <laughs> yeah, it does seem to be going in debt next turn as well, so that's, yeah, yes, that's not great, is it? But uh, oh well, but anyway, I uh, thank you for your continued support and hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you later.